Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your uh, weekly singles love reading for Capricorn. How are you guys? Happy New Year. I want to thank everyone before I get started for all your support, your likes, subscribes, and shares in the past year. I really appreciate it. So Capricorn, you can see I have the sun and the love card here. I want to see... Will you meet your soulmate, your true love, in 2023? Will you meet your soulmate, true love, in 2023? Capricorn. Oh, okay. All right, that's interesting. <laughs> Something's coming to an end. Some of you are going to end something, okay? Yeah, we'll see what this is all about. This could be another person too. It could be someone giving advice. Sometimes the Queen of Swords likes to give advice. I like to uh, speak right up. <laughs> Capricorn, yeah, look at that. Yeah, so it's an energy of reciprocity. So it's an energy, I feel what you got here is someone who's uh, somebody is going to, it's either yourself cutting someone out, ending a situation. Something is coming to an end. And it likely could be just the, the new year. But there's going to be a reason to celebrate. So there's some kind of celebration. Or it has to do with a relationship, a house, a home. We'll see. We have the three of wands here. So it's an energy of waiting for something. Waiting for someone to reach out. So it's an energy of keeping your options open. Yeah, I, that's what I feel is going to come to an end. You're going to keep your options open. Anybody who doesn't reciprocate, you're going to just end it. Uh, I feel like it's going to be that next kind of energy. Uh, you want someone stable, reliable, practical. Look at that. Yeah, if someone doesn't want to commit or they don't want to build a foundation, just end it. Don't waste time. Don't sit around waiting. So that's interesting. Yeah, we have something coming to an end and manifesting something new. So it looks like you're going to be in an energy of manifesting, keeping your options open. Anyone who doesn't reciprocate, uh, you're just going to end it. So there's a painful period in your life going to be over. Why? Because you have all the tools, the information you've learned. You've become very wise. So I do kind of feel this is yourself or it's someone giving you advice. Uh, someone you may be communicating with. I do see a Scorpio energy. So with every ending comes this new beginning, you see. Don't wait. Don't sit around and wait for someone to reach out. Keep your options open. Reach out to others, okay? Like-minded people. Look at all the possibilities. So this is financial stability, safety, security. So two people coming together who look out for each other's best interests. If someone isn't looking out for your best interest, okay, they're not reaching out, they're not sharing, spending time with you, um, I feel you're going to be just ending it. I feel like you'll be cutting people out of your life fairly quickly here. I have to fix this auto focus is off but yet it's acting like it's on so i have to click it on and off so this is what i feel is you now the way you're going to be if someone doesn't reciprocate spend time you're going to just seek out other options no more waiting so that's an interesting energy you want a partner someone stable someone you can rely on because uh, i feel if you can't rely on someone you don't feel safe they're not sharing okay it it's just going to manifest new. You have all the tools, the information. That's your inner wisdom, I feel. Uh, I often see the Queen of Swords energy as someone who's wise, someone who speaks up and speaks their truth. You're going to see, be seeing the truth in this situation here. Uh, this could be just an overall energy. So tell me about this Four of Wands for Capricorn. There we go. There's one here. I've seen it flip over. Where did it go? There it is. Yeah, see, there you are. Yeah, you're not going to sit around waiting for someone, someone who keeps you single, you see. Some of you are going to be enjoying the fruits of your labors. You're looking out for yourself. You're going to be you know, definitely speaking up here. Nice. Yeah, you're going to make sure someone is completely single too. If they're not or they're in any kind of a relationship or situation, I don't think you're going to be tolerating that. <laughs> Queen of Swords. There we go. Yeah, see, there it is. Yeah, it's an energy of facing the fears here, doing the shadow work as well. So if there's someone who's secretive, you see, someone who's keeping secrets or not reciprocating, I don't, it's just not going to go anywhere. It's sort of like, it just isn't going to go anywhere at all. 
because I feel as though you're kind of, you're just looking out for yourself and it's telling you to look out for yourself. I do see a lot of focus on your finances as well here. Yeah, see, walking away. Yeah, see, making the decision. This is an energy to just release, uh, to let go. Okay, this is your, going to be a decision, a judgment you're going to be making. You're going to look at the situation. Yeah, look at that. Been there, done that. So it looks like you have other mul multiple opportunities coming in. So I feel that things will start to speed up. Probably six months, halfway through the year. Uh, I feel like you're definitely... No, I feel like you're just going to kind of stay single and build your financial foundation while you're, you know, sort of moving into the new year here. There you go. We have this could be yourself, could be another person. See, it's about reciprocity, equal give and take between two people, sharing time, energy. Uh, if you have somebody who's keeping secrets, I feel like you're going to be speaking up. It's not going to go anywhere. You're just going to walk away. Been there, done that. Like I say, you've learned here with that Queen of Swords energy. Beautiful energy. We have the Seven of Cups. Yeah, you'll be looking at other possibilities. See, look at that. Some Taurus energy. Um, doesn't have to be a Taurus. They could be a Virgo or a Capricorn or just anybody in that energy. So it has to do with having faith. You see, if you have someone who comes towards you and they're secretive, how can you get on the same page? How can you have faith, you see, in a person? who doesn't want to share, you see. This is a person who doesn't want to give. Uh, and that's it's possibly could be this person here. Okay, there we have it. So, uh, this is yourself here. You want a partner, someone you can count on and rely on. So I actually feel like you will have someone reaching out. You're going to look at the possibilities. You're going to ground yourself. I feel like you're going to be very focused on people's financial status as well as your own. And I feel like you're willing to reciprocate. You're willing to give, but you want someone who does the same so you'll be looking at that making sure you're on the same page if you're not on the same page uh, with somebody you just don't get each other you will cut them out so i feel like you're going to be quite uh outspoken this year <laughs> feel like you have faith in yourself you know this is about having faith in yourself your abilities uh, but i see you looking at all the possibilities here yeah i think you're just going to be keeping your options open while you focus on work um, there you go. Wheel of Fortune energy. So things are definitely going to be flipping in your energy. Something is ending. Uh, there's something that's, I feel like it's just a painful period in your life or a time in your life where it's just finished here. Yeah. Anyone who comes in and tries to be, you know, keep secret, somebody who may be in a relationship, but acting single, whatever the scenario, uh, it's not going to go well for them. <laughs> <laughs> you're manifesting you're manifesting money things are shifting in your favor but you have all the tools the information you've learned you see you're mastering the elements you're mastering life lovely beautiful energy see there you are keeping your options open you're not going to be uh, dealing with anybody who has other options unless they want to it's an energy of committing you know, if somebody doesn't want to commit right or they don't reciprocate you can't have faith but it's telling you to keep having faith in yourself and this is how i feel you're going to be conducting yourself keeping your options open okay until you find that person who wants to commit i feel like you will commit i do feel you are definitely marriage material absolutely but you're going to be looking out for yourself yeah you may have a virgo here you may have a virgo around you here some of you yeah, but I think this is somebody who doesn't really want to reciprocate, though. You know, it's hard to say, but it is a power couple energy. Two people who are generally focused on their money on the same page. Two people who get each other. So you're definitely moving away from something here. But I see opportunities coming in and a delay is something you've been waiting for. Okay, so yeah, so it's sort of like while you're waiting, you're just doing your own thing. <laughs> Grounded, practical, sensible, Yeah, taking care of yourself. I feel like you don't have any real immediate plans to really get yourself out there uh, too much right now, but I feel like you will as, as this year goes on here. You know, it's definitely a shift. Tell me about the magician. Why is this here? Yeah, so you're definitely saving money. You're protecting yourself, but still manifesting. Yeah, anyone who comes in who's selfish, who doesn't want to give, uh, doesn't want to cooperate or compromise in any way. You're not going to let anyone keep you stuck and single. So either they commit, 
Uh, to whatever that commitment means to you. It could be committing to just dating, getting to know each other, making sure you're on the same page and not involving anybody else, you see. You're not going to let anyone keep you stuck. Thanks, but no thanks. Because <laughs> you're manifesting new. So uh, I feel as though, too, uh, with this energy, see, it's an energy when someone keeps you stuck. This is so interesting the way this is coming out because you can see here and this is that energy of the queen of swords being very smart making good solid sound decisions it's about knowing when to end something and just walk away this seven of cups again is here telling you keep your options open okay if somebody has other options and they don't want to commit thanks but no thanks yeah you're definitely not going to be in a settling mood um, I do feel like you're saving money, you're in protective mode, but I can see this energy of manifesting, you see. Uh, somebody here, I feel, uh, may regret it, okay? Somebody here that you may walk away from may end up regretting it. Yeah, Seven of Cups. Tell me more about the Seven of Cups. It's the possibilities, the options. It's an energy of procrastinating. Uh, it's an energy of making a choice, right? If somebody doesn't choose you and they keep their options open, see you later. You'll keep yours open. And that's what I feel. Anyone who comes in, you're going to tell them and until they're ready to commit, you're keeping your options open, okay? You're not going to commit to somebody who isn't giving. Uh, that's what I feel basically it is. It's not like, oh, hey, if you have other options, but it's okay for me. That's not what I'm seeing here. No, Seven of Cups. There we go. Yeah, see, trusting your intuition, there you are, your inner wisdom, your inner knowing. It's where you just know, right? Yeah, it's just you're going to be trusting your intuition. You're going to be wise, though. These are all the things that you've learned. You're manifesting, but you're saving money. You're refusing to budge. Anyone who wants to keep you single, you're just going to keep your options open. I feel like you're going to tell somebody that. Hey, you're not giving, you're secretive, you're, you know, you're not sharing information, divulging, spending time whatever then i'm not gonna you know commit and waste my time here no wasting time on people tell me about the sun yeah see it's an energy of somebody who rushes in i do see a possible uh sag energy leo maybe aries energy it's an energy of somebody who rushes in and rushes out so it's telling you this is how you're going to conduct yourself Okay, stable, grounded, practical. You're going to make sensible decisions. Is somebody here like, you know, it's like an energy of not seeing someone in your future if they don't give and spend time with you. And it's about being on the same page too. Definitely you want someone who's stable. I feel like the, if you have a person who reaches out to you, and this is going to be your energy. Uh, you want things to go in your favor. So it's possible some of you make, make an agreement with somebody. Okay. Yeah, but I think you're going to tell someone you're not going to let somebody keep you stuck and single. That doesn't give, doesn't reciprocate. Yeah, you're not going to settle for that. Hmm. Yeah, you're not going to miss up meeting other people. You're not going to take the, uh, I feel, the chance of me uh, meeting other people by sort of sitting around at home waiting for somebody. See, someone who keeps you single, keeps you kind of at home, you know, while they're out and about. <laughs> Oh, yeah. So there we have the lover's card. Why is this here? There we go. Yeah. Slow and steady wins the race. Yeah. So I feel it's the path you're going to be choosing. I do feel it's an energy of just kind of taking your time, uh, planning for success. I feel that you are focused a lot on money. But if you have someone who's dragging their feet, okay, there could be something to do with children, too. It could be yourself, a single parent, you know, just kind of taking your time about the path that you're on here. But this is the path you're on. Looks like you're going to have a couple choices and a couple of options this year, but you're going to be conducting yourself in a, you know, as yourself, very sensible. Yeah, see, tempering your passions and emotions, being patient, just focused on money, doing your own thing. You're going to trust your intuition a lot this year. Uh, and I do feel like you're going to uh, recognize when something feels off, when someone's not giving. Yeah, but you are, I do feel like you're learning to be patient. You're definitely not rushing into anything, you see. And you're not going to let anyone rush you either, you see. They have to, it's an energy of um, two people being on the same page, you know, making some kind of agreement that goes in both people's favor. If this person doesn't want to uh, cooperate or compromise, they're stuck, stubborn, or being selfish, then see you later. Yeah, sorry, not good enough. 
Oh boy, you are on the path this year, aren't you? This is going to, I feel this is going to pay off, you know. This is going to go in your favor. For one thing, you're going to end up financially stable <laughs> if you're not already. Yeah, you're going to, you know, it, it, it doesn't really matter how you look at it here. It's going to, you know, the path that you're on, this choice that you're making, uh, I feel is going to lead you in the right direction. So some of you may be kind of, you know, thinking, is this the right path? Is this what I should be doing? If you have children with the six of cups, you see, if you have children, you're definitely on that right path. I feel you're choosing the path that uh, is safe and secure and stable. Yeah. Some of you too, if you are a single parent, you might just want to date somebody you know, kind of hang out, take time, maybe do nice things for each other, help each other out until your children are older and moving on as well. So it has to do with the path here. Everyone's will be a little bit different. But yeah, it looks like you've got a couple choices uh, this year. Uh, probably both earth signs. I do see a little Sag energy. See, it's an energy where you're not going to let anybody rush you into anything. You see, you don't want to rush. You want balance because the Queen of Pentacles is all about balance. You see, not moving too fast, not moving too slow, uh, but it has to do with two people reciprocating, giving each other what they need. You see, things going in both people's favor, just trusting your intuition, being wise. Oh, yeah. Tell me more about the High Priestess. Yeah, see, it's all about choosing the one, see, choosing the right path, uh, which is the path that's best for you. You see, you're looking out for yourself. I see you being quite independent, which I feel Capricorns generally are. Not always. Everyone's a little different, but I feel like you're in that energy. You're just patiently uh, doing your own thing. You know, you're learning to look at all the possibilities. If someone comes towards you, uh, they come in too fast, too fiery, too strong, and then they don't give. So I don't think you're going to rush into anything, especially to the physical connection, taking things to the next level until you're sure. So lovely, yeah. But there's that passion, that new beginning, you see. This is an energy of, of uh, choosing the right person. It's learning to recognize when someone really isn't on the right path in the same page. Uh, but I do see somebody coming in here. I just feel it may be very more to the end of the year. Look at that. There it is. See, thanks, but no thanks. Getting out, meeting other people. You see, so there's, there is positive news. I do think you're going to meet someone at some kind of an event. Now, it could be something to do with children. They could be a single parent, uh, but it doesn't have to be. Yeah, some of you definitely, things have been moving kind of slow. There's a sense of longing, you know, for a companion, longing for somebody here. But I feel like it's you're going to be sensible about any any path that you choose, especially if you have a children. A lot of focus on finances, but there you are with that three of cups. There's positive news, manifesting, getting out, meeting other people. Yeah, see, there you are, manifesting. Nice. I think you and another person are going to manifest each other. I do see a little bit of um, talk back and forth between the two of you. But if you feel somebody isn't reciprocating, I feel like you're going to call them out very quickly and tell them you're just going to walk away. Because I don't think, I don't see you putting up with someone who's keeping you stuck. Like if you have someone you're waiting for, you're every weekend or whatever, when your day's off, you're waiting for this person to communicate, to do something together, and they don't. You're just going to go out and meet other people. I think you're teaching someone here how you want to be treated as well. <laughs> so it's an energy of waiting. So you're manifesting. You're not going to sit around and wait for someone, you see, to uh, spend time with you, to do things with you. You'll just keep your options open. You know, you'll just go out with your friends and family and uh, have a good time. So I do see a lot of positive energy. So this could be a new person coming in, or it could be someone you're already dealing with. But there you are. See, you're just waiting, waiting for that uh, connection, that bond with someone. Uh, you're going to make somebody wait. If they try to rush towards you with that for the physical, you're going to make them wait. And if they don't want to wait, then you know that they're uh, likely not in your, things are not in your best interest. Anybody who, you know, is really interested in, in being with you, you know, and partnering up, or they you know, really want to get to know you to see, at least see where things go, uh, they're, they're going to be more than happy to wait. You see, anyone who doesn't want to wait or doesn't want to introduce you to their friends and family is more than likely someone who doesn't have your best interest. They're more worried about rushing towards that physical connection, you see, uh, rush in or rush out anyway. Um, uh, and, you know, it's a person who rushes in quickly. And it doesn't always mean that they're 
up to anything, okay? Uh, it's a person who's led by their passion. They're led by that physical attraction. Uh, but I don't think you're going to be settling for that. You're going to make somebody wait here, okay, to take things to the next level. So I do feel it's energy of, you know, hoping for things to be successful, planning for it. You know, two people doing nice things for each other to see how things go. So... Yeah, before you go to that next level, there it is. See, it's all about that aha moment, the success. See, that's your sword. You're, you want success. You want someone who's successful too. Uh, because I feel a lot of people do and a lot of people, um, you know, see it in a way as you find a partner who's financially successful uh, and you work together. It takes a lot of pressure off of a relationship too. You know, to start things out that way. But it, everyone's different on what they feel is financially successful. At least someone who's focused, likes to make plans for the future. They like to be stable. Someone who likes to prepare ahead. Uh, King and Queen of Pentacles. So I see some kind of success in making a choice. Uh, doing what's right for yourself, you see. It's seeing the truth in a situation. You're going to be speaking your truth this year. Oh, yeah. I actually feel like you're going to connect with someone here. And I think you're going to make this person wait to make sure they're not manipulating or they just want to rush towards that physical and then keep on moving. So you're very wise this year, Capricorn. Whether this is your soulmate or not, I'm not so sure. Okay. Uh, I feel as though you've got a, a couple of opportunities here. Definitely a couple. I do see a Gemini, a Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. In fact, I feel anyone who comes in is going to have some earthy energy. Uh, maybe even a little Scorpio energy here for some of you. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But yeah, look at that energy. I think you got a Virgo here. You got a Virgo coming in. Okay. Or it's just somebody who's in that kind of energy, very focused on their finances. But I do see a power couple, but it's whether or not the two of you can come to some kind of an agreement about how things are going to go. Uh, it does. I do think your advice is to make this person to wait. Uh, I do think you're going to be manifesting each other, but see, there's that physical connection. There's definitely going to be an attraction. <laughs> if you feel something is off, you're not going to sit around and waste time either. I can see that. See, so tempering your passions, your emotions, tempering your words. Okay. Yeah. You have a similar temperament to this person, though. There's definitely some kind of uh, chemistry here, I feel. So you'll see. Uh, so there's the energy of change. I feel like you're just going to kind of go with the flow, uh, see how things feel. If it doesn't feel right, you're going to just move on. All right, to next. But I do see you meeting people, having multiple opportunities. So it's all about your choices this year. All right, I wish you the very best. Take care and we'll see you soon.